Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you guys how to prep your skin before a photo shoot. It's, this is um, just if you wanted something basic, um, no eyeshadow, if it's going to be like black and white. So um, what I'm actually, products that I'm going to be using now that I had to prep my skin, um, I'm going to be using Studio Sculpt. This is good for like HD, um, it gives you good um, pigmentation. Um, or not good pigmentation, true to pigmentation of your skin. Uh, so that way, once when you're getting, in, well, black and white, it's really not gonna like show up, but I like using, true, you know, something that's gonna be to my color. And um, if you are gonna be doing any color shots, then, you know, you want to do something very, very basic. So, all right. So what I'm gonna be doing now that I had prepped my skin and if you guys didn't get a chance to see the video of, um, you know, how I prep my skin, go ahead and, um, if you want, you could, you know, just go to the next video before this one. And that way you see, you know, how I prep my skin. All right. So now uh, what I'm going to be doing is I mix my foundation with my moisturizer and I mix the Studio Sculpt together and I want very, a little bit goes a long ways. So I just mix it with my moisturizer. And now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting it on with the foundation brush. And how I'm gonna be doing that is I'm just gonna, you know, very lightly around. And like key products that I'm gonna be using is, um, you know, foundation. Um, I'm just gonna use a translucent powder and I'm just gonna put this on very lightly. I just wanna even out my skin tone. That's pretty much it. That's all I really wanna do. So then that way I'm not looking, you know, too cakey or any, anything like that. And, all right, so now I'm gonna be spreading out the product evenly throughout my face. And you're already seeing a difference in, you know, one side's like, because I, I have some red undertone, so then this way it's going to make sure to even out my skin tone. Because you want it to match like your neck. And also bring it down here. Make sure you put some foundation down. And another thing that I use also, in case if it does start drying, I do use Fix Plus or a um, something to hydrate your skin, like a, you know, a mist, um, something that's hydrating. Fix Plus is, you know, a really good thing to pretty much just go with. And then now that that's done, I see that like it's kind of drying, so. And it happens with some foundations it, it does tend to happen. So now that I made sure to even that out, I'm gonna grab my, actually it's charge water. This is discontinued, you could do Fix Plus. So just make sure to put that on using my dual fiber brush. Buff that into the skin. And once when you buff it into the skin, you wanna make sure to set it afterwards with a, either with a translucent powder, which I like using, or some, or a powder that you will not actually have any titanium dioxide or SPF. The reason behind it just because sometimes when you take a picture, the titanium dioxide reflects back to the camera. So then that way, if you notice when you take a picture, um, say for example, if you're like in a room setting or um, if you're out in a club or something like that, you take a picture, if you notice that your face is white, whiter than your neck, it's because of the titanium dioxide or the SPF that's in it. So now that I'm seeing that this product is setting into my skin. 
and I just kind of put whatever extra access over my lids. And you could do like a light shadow, very neutral for the girls, for the guys. Just, you know, just follow the steps that I'm doing. Okay. And now what I'm going to be doing is using a translucent powder. And you could get a translucent powder, um, Sephora, MAC, um, Inglot. It, there's many companies that have translucent setting powders. So now that I had deposited onto my brush, you want to make sure to just go like that and like that. And any extra, what I do is slightly tap. That way it gets in the brush. And you don't want to like swirl the brush all in the product because why? You're going to destroy your brush. So now I'm going to set this so then that way I don't have any shininess. And that's going to take away the shininess. And just to kind of get an, just define your face a little bit more. That way you don't look all flush, like just one tone. I'm going to use a bronzer. And you could get a bronzer from, once again, MAC. Um, just, you want just a few shades darker. Um, probably like three shades darker. Uh, you could use a powder. Um, you could use foundation, concealer um, to kind of give definition. So I'm going to be using, oh, I like using my dual fiber brush. I think it'll be still okay. So I'm going to use my dual fiber brush and this is mine. So, and I'm just going to swirl, lightly swirl. And I'm going to be actually depositing right in this area and what you do is do that once two strokes and then from there blend and once you see you already kind of start seeing some definition so all right same thing on the other side and you want to focus right in the um beneath your cheekbone and you don't want to make sure you like, uh, okay, this is how you would do it. Do the fish um, mouth thing sucking in like your cheeks. That's where it's going to go. And you don't want to put it all the way over here. You want to put it right in front of the sideburn. And then right where your eye, you want to make sure it's in between here and here. So that's like a good me uh, method for measuring where measuring where exactly the bronzer should be for contouring. Okay. So once you do that, and then I'm just gonna lightly put it on the side of my nose, just a little. All right, and this actually gives you depth, dimension on your face. And then I just put it on the outside perimeter of, or right on the hairline. And then that way it starts giving you shape and dimension, depth. And then I put some at the bottom. And then that way on the facial hair, that way it kind of hides it. And that way you don't have that line of demar or not line of demarcation, the separation of your neck and your face. All right, so then that way it's structured. See? 
All right, well, I hope you guys learned how to do this. And for the girls, if you just want to do like a light shadow, very neutral, mattes are usually recommended. You could do like a nice, you know, neutral brown shade. It could be like a beigey tone, a beigey tone with like, just like a brown shade, like in the outside crease, if you're doing any headshots. Um, usually, you know, if you are doing any headshots, you're always required to do multiple looks. So, all right, you be creative not looking crazy but you know just start looking investigating if you want to you know start um doing some headshots if you want to be into the modeling industry or acting or singing you always want to have headshots all right well until then i hope this was very helpful and i will talk to you guys later on and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any suggestions comments feel free to put them down there and i will talk to you guys later on all right until then bye